sense of understanding with our own foundation of spirituality and cultural identity. My kids, I teach them daily about their, because their mom's um, Brazilian and I'm indigenous. So making sure they understand both sides of their family and who they are. Once they understand that, when you move into every day, the real world, I guess, you, you have that, that connection with yourself. And when you have that connection with yourself, it's difficult for people to really have a negative effect on you because you're so grounded within your own understanding. And what I've come to find is a lot of, um, you know, my friends and relatives that don't have that understanding of themselves you know, really struggle when they do face adversity. So to have my kids understand that it's not necessarily searching for a place where they um, belong because it, it has been a lifelong journey for myself to even feel like I belong in this country because with the systematic racism, with dealing with it daily, you know, there's, there's always been this subconscious feeling that I don't even belong in Canada. You know, it's what we've been made to feel and with racism being, being at the, the focal point of a lot of the media today, if if anybody who has never faced it, you know that's that's privilege in itself. So just making sure that my kids understand um, who they are, where they come from, their history, and then to have that confidence moving forward, because I get them to look at themselves with um, from from a human standpoint, but also with compassion and empathy. And that will resonate outwards. And when they see other people that struggle, 